hello guys what's up it's been a minute but i've been good i thank god and i just want us to catch up today and i hope that you are getting ready for the christmas holidays we are here i'm still working today is the 19th no 20th i'm still working and i'm still gonna be working up until friday so christmas i won't be working i would be working that um probably that that tuesday i might be working but just for a few hours <clears throat> but how fast the year has ended oh my god i cannot believe it like just the other day that i moved because i moved to my current house just the other day it was december and i really need to get a cut musijali i've been too busy too busy before i talk so much because you know talking is my my thing um i just want to say something i have observed it and like I said on my other video, at the beginning of this year, I was very lost somehow because I was to pick a schedule that I wasn't used to because we moved to a new location. And here in America, when you move to a new location, the, your kids are going to change schools. So the time for school is different everywhere. And also, they might go to a school that doesn't have a bus, which happened to be my case. So my daughter couldn't get a bus. And I have to work. And as you all know, I am self-employed. Meaning, I have to have a discipline in order for me to make money or to make an income. Because if you're self-employed and you don't have a discipline of what time you get to work, you will never make anything so in my case i had to reduce my work like to almost half of it i cut it in half but then my finances went down so bad and the job that i do is a job that has reviews like any other job nowadays so i really mind or i do care what type of job is being done even if i said someone to go do it so i really like being in that position whereby i can observe what is being done because at the end of the day it is all about the quality even if it is also about the money just ignore my back cloud it has a lot of uh cleaning supplies um at the back so i reduced my work and my finances went down with quite a huge amount. But then, close to the quarter, let me say, the last quarter of this year, I decided, you know what? Things cannot continue like this. I have to do something. Because it is not like I go to work to make the money that we're gonna come eat. No. But still, there is that goal that you have in life that you have to fight for. And my goal, the direction I was heading and the direction my goals were heading, we were not at any point going to be reunited if I didn't do something. So I decided, you know what? I think we have the power to make things happen or to find reasons to prevent them from happening. When I speak things, I speak things that I have spoken to myself first. I don't say things that I think should be done. I say things that I have tried to do and they worked. So, I had to do something in real fast before the year ends. Because it is not how you started, but how you're going to finish. And trust me you, I was able to rescue my financial situation. I wasn't suffering financially in any way. But my goals were not being met with the amount of income that I was doing. What did I do? What did I do? 
all I did was to forget about all the reasons or to leave all the reasons. I left the WhatsApp groups of all the reasons I had created that would not let me work because of this and that. And you know what? We got so much power if we can, if we can activate it. Everybody does. Nobody has more power than the other one. Nobody is more capable than the other one. The only difference is to be able to activate it and make things happen. Never in life will you ever find something moving itself. In fact, it is only once in the history that we know manna fell from heaven. It has never happened again. Otherwise, we would have had so many bakeries that are, that are selling bread at a disposable price. But you have to fight for what you want. And here's another thing. I am self-employed, yeah? But that doesn't mean that being self-employed, things move themselves. No. You think you have the freedom, but you do not have any freedom at all. In fact, people who are employed, they might have more freedom than you do. Because it is for you to go to work, for you to get money. For the employed person, they might use their PTO. Incoming call from You do Nemo not Antros. have mobile. Press you connect phone button to you answer. You do not have any call rejected. You do not have any PTO. I was I am rejecting the call because I'm recording. You do not have any PTO because you're self-employed. Means you are a self-contractor. Nobody counts any hours for you the same way they do not have to give you time off. You can only plan it. So, I have this condition or situation whereby every month, every month, every month I fall sick. It is something that I have tried to fight with for quite a long time and it is something very intense, very intense, such that I fail to go to work, used to. And no medication will help. And since I figured out this is something that gonna probably I gonna live with because I have seen a, any kind of a doctor and it is not something of just the other day it is something that has been there and this is a hormonal effect that affects me so much it is so intense such that the back pain the chest pain the headache the dizziness can easily make me pass out but i prayed i went to see doctors i did everything that i could have done within my capability and when i figured out i cannot be missing work because when i miss one day of my work i mess up the whole week calendar and i cannot combine jobs nowadays because i have the full week full it is completely full so if I, I miss one job, then it means I have to move it to next week, which the next week, which could be full, then I can handle. Yes, I do hire people, but one thing with hiring people is they might call in that day or they might say, I'm not available. In America, that is allowed. You can say you're not available. You can call in for work and that is not a biggie. So in some days, I might have like five jobs. If I keep on listening to my body and I have goals that I have to observe, putting in mind that whenever you are in your late that is, you want to catch up with life wherever you didn't. That is what we think. But you can only use wisely the time that you have. You cannot recover whatever was lost. That was gone. So what I decided is I'm going to start being very, very intentional. I am intentional always. So I added a second job. It is also a self-employed job, private work. So I have two jobs and they are kind of like now full time. How am I doing it? I don't know. But the thing is, if you ask God for a certain grace, he will give you that grace. If that is what you're trusting God for. If you're trusting God for three hours, he's going to give you the grace that you need for three hours. So what I did, I trusted God more and for more grace to work with my condition with studying i still go to work like 
today when I'm recording this video. I went to work at my worst. I was feeling like a crushed egg. Trust me, when I was in that bed, I was like, do I go? Do I tell them I'm gonna postpone? Yesterday, the same thing. It was on a Tuesday, today's Wednesday. And I was like, if I move that job tomorrow, I don't even know how to do it. I don't know how to handle three jobs because of the hours they need, they require. I took some Tylenol and I went to work. Do I hate myself? No, I don't hate myself. But I just realized that there is so much time or there it is so easy to find a reason to miss work than there is to find a reason to go to work. I took Tylenol and I just took myself to work. And the, the truth is, whether you want to act or not, whether you want to listen to yourself or not, life will still happen. The day will still come and go. Whether you go to work feeling unwell or not. And I'm not saying you should do it when it is very risky to your health or it is a, a life or uh, a matter of life and death. But what I'm saying is that whenever I, I, I push myself, I still go to that job and work and come home. So I think we deny ourselves so much opportunity or we just take things lightly. But we have so much power to go against the odds. That was my message today. To go against the odds and make things happen. All the successful people, they have their moments. They have their sick days. Do they go to work? They push themselves to work. Learn how to push yourself to do things even when your body is saying something else. I have learned my lesson and I will continue like that. And that has made me know how much power God has bestowed in my willpower. I am thankful and I can just thank God that I'm finishing the year at a very, very high tone, at a very, very high note. Somewhere I never knew I would be today at the beginning of the year, at the middle of the year, but it happened at the end of the year. I am so grateful to God and I can honest, I cannot see the epitome. I cannot because it is so big. The destiny is so big. I cannot be able to see it. I am heading somewhere to an interview. Uh, I'm trying to take this contract with um, the people I'm going to meet and God is good and if you need a lot of things in your life to happen accommodate a lot of things in your life God can only give you the grace that you have trusted him for I'm telling you me being the case study I tested myself and then I'm telling you so that you can learn through me God can only allow us many things into your life as you can handle if you cannot handle many things in your life and you have allowed yourself just a small space imagine that is what God gonna have you have it that is what God gonna let you have I am thankful to God because some things take a lot of pain to discover a lot of effort to discover and a lot of sacrifice to discover it took me all those combined and I thank God I was able to know I cannot just be fitted in this car room but I can also expand the room break the walls and get into the outside of the walls and find out what it has to offer and I'm so happy I'm so thankful God is good I don't know God is good and I'm full of gratitude. I have, the year has had its ups and downs, but I am thankful the year is ending when I'm very happy, when I'm very contented, when I'm very much blessed and it can only be God. And I thank God, I thank God, I thank God, I thank Jesus. Sometimes when I wanna talk about God, I get emotional. Because the grace has been sufficient. It has really carried me. Guy, guy, oh my God. 
God has carried me. God has carried me. Let's just trust in God because there is so much God can do for you if you can create a room for God to do it. He has so much. He has so much for us. If we can create that room, God has so much for us. Bye bye guys. I just want to tell you as we close the year, happy holidays and happy new year. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Do not forget to keep on keeping on because we can do all things and for sure we can do all things through Christ. He has so much power. If you feel like you are stuck with just one thing and you think you can talk to me and we can walk through, I can walk you through by the grace of God. Cheers.